Okay, I'm working the back of this eye tooth and also trying to work the bicuspid here. I suspect there's more abscess back there. It kind of smells a little bit. So I've been working back there for a while and you know, haven't really had much luck. But then it turns out there's a ledge behind the eye tooth. So I'm trying to dismantle the ledge. I think it might be possible that there's, there's more under there if I can get this ledge out of the way to gang access. It may largely be dismantled. And there's definitely a smell back there. So there's something going on here. I just have to figure out how to get to it. And I'm using the straight sickle. I could use the Montana Jack, but I'm using the straight sickle because it gives me a, a generally a better sense of where I am. I got something. Plus there's a smell. I'll try the Montana Jack because of the angle. So what I'm going to try to do work my way under something ledge-like. Huh. Here. See, I'm imagining there might be more abscess back there being blocked by the ledge. Something there. It's definitely a smell. Maybe I can go back to this one. I'll go back to this one. Okay, well, I made some progress. I got some stuff out. There's no question about that. Another possibility. I could switch to the toothpick and then see if I can dislodge anything. I know it's this area back here. This can also help to isolate the ledges as well. Okay, nothing of significance. A whole bunch of work and I ended up with a small amount of crud behind the eye tooth. Certainly no great catches. Plus, there's the smell, too. Now, you know, maybe some of that's being liberated, but I think there's something in there. I just can't quite get to it. Okay, well, maybe I did break that ledge. So maybe all in all, all this stuff is adding up to something, maybe. Okay, I'm going to come around the corner, go to the outside. Okay, there does seem to be some action on that corner. It doesn't necessarily have to be that much that's holding it in. It could be a, a small localized area. So maybe it's the inside corner of this eye tooth. Okay, back to the sickle. Here's some blood. Yeah, it's definitely a piece of calculus. It's adding up. Not exactly what I wanted, but let's go back to this eye tooth again. I'm going to go this way to try to clear to the corner. Then I'm going to go this way to try to clear to the other corner. I'll just be clear on this. See, it's hard to tell if that's gum or is this calculus. If it gives up and you get a little blobs coming out, that's definitely calculus. So on the other hand, if you slice through your gum, then, then it wasn't. So basically why I want everything to give itself up. I really don't want to have to get brutal with any of this stuff. Okay, I'm going to go to the outside now. There's some stuff. Let's try that some more. I want to start at here, then boom up. Sweep to the outside. This is from right around the area of the abscess. Sweep to the outside. Try to create a clear path along the edge there. Anything I get rid of is good. Okay, you know, let's call it progress. Well, let's go back with the sickle. Definitely something there. Just use this sickle. It's a little thinner. What well, the company could do is to clear the distal side of the eye tooth. Very high in there, there's a rounded angle that's hard to get to. So, somehow I can get around that angle, that would be positive. And that could be holding everything in right there. That could be the answer. Okay, this is the O'Hare. Maybe this has some possible abilities. Hmm. No, no, no. Let's just do this one. Okay, into the gap. All the way up. Good right hand for right here. Okay, into the gap. Back to the sickle again. 
Okay. A little bit, not much. Okay, so what's the deal? I'm able to go in there with the sickle. There's definitely something in there. Unfortunately, I'm not able to close the deal. That's the problem. Here. Big piece. Maybe that's the answer right there. Okay, so I came across from the bicuspid. Maybe that's the answer. I came across from the incisor. I did it as much as I could. Now I come across from the bicuspid. Okay, I might be on to something. Okay, that's a pretty significant piece I got out of there. This is what it may be looking like. It might be there's a second abscess between the bicuspid and the eye tooth. So I sweep around from the bicuspid. See, it's mixed in with the gum. Yeah, but almost always, when I think it's mixed in with the gum, it ends up being calculus. Almost always. Sweep around from the bicuspid. Clear the corridor. There. Okay. It's not going to be gum. It's going to be calculus. And what happened? There. With the corridor clean, it becomes easier to go up in the deeper part. There. There. Just break it off. Screw it. It's not gum. It's calculus. Okay, good. So we're starting to... I don't know why it takes so long. Same thing. Sweep around from the bicuspid. Just pull. Forget about it. Okay, it's starting to add up. Okay, what's more or less happening, this is taking a long time, between the bicuspid and the abscess, there's calculus on the bicuspid that's blocking access to go deep in between them where I think there's the action, which is largely where I thought it was all along, but for some reason it seems to be taking me forever to actually get that to work. Oh. There. Okay, there's some more. Part of it is I just have a misplaced sense I'm going to cut through the gum, but there is no gum there. It's just the calculus. So I think i got to get over it. Another big piece. There. Oops, there is no gum there. It's just a big furry piece of calculus. There, okay, look at that. Forget about it. There. Here, no one right there. Same thing. Okay, pretty significant. Same thing. Good. Another piece. Okay, so this is ending up significant. So let's try this again.